Hello everyone. Welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. Today we are going to learn about this tree map. So before seeing some practical example, let us understand what is the purpose of this tree map. So this tree map visualize the large and hierarchical data sets as well as it captures the value of each data points as well as the structure of the hierarchy. Okay, so that means when we are using the tree map, when we need to display the data in a hierarchical way or it has the hierarchical information, then we can use this tree map. Okay, so why is it known as tree map? Visualize hierarchical information in a tree like diagram. So data organized as branches and sub branches. Okay, so I hope you will find what is the definition of tree map. Now we are going to see how we can create one tree map. For that purpose, let me create one new page. So I have imported this cells uh, superstore data. Okay, this is the CSV file. So I have used this gate data and this CSV format. Okay, now if you need this uh, data, just please check that GitHub link, which I have mentioned in the description section of this video. From there, you can download this data as well as you can download this working file too. Okay, let us start. First, I will select one tree map. Make it little bit bigger. For this tree map, what are the properties we have? Category, details, values, tooltips, etc. Okay, so in the category section, we are going to add this product category. And for this value section, I am going to select this sales value. So this is the simple tree map. So from this tree map, we can understand this sales value is distributed among these three categories. Okay. Now you want to add some more fields. How we can do that? One process is you can add something in the detail section. Let me add this subcategory in the detail section. Now, when I have added this subcategory in this tree map in the detail section, you can observe this category technology has been distributed in many sub branches, sub branches based on this subcategory. Similar way, the furniture and office supplies. Okay, so if you just see the tooltip section, you can find out the category office supply, subcategory storage and the sales value corresponding to that value. Okay, now uh, if you want to see another visualization, how will you do that? Just select the tree map, select category and this sales value in the similar way. Now, if you want to add this subcategory in this category section, at a glance, you are not able to say anything. How will you do that? Just click on this drill down and this data is distributed based on this category and subcategory selection wise. Okay. Now, if you want to validate this data from the table section, let us do that. Just create one simple table here. Select this category subcategory and the sales value okay for example here this is technology phones and the value is 330007.05 if you just go this section mouse over and you can find out for technology phones value is 330007.05 if you want to go this graph here also you can find out for this technology phones the value is 330007.05. So in this way, you can validate the data, whether this data is coming properly or not, whenever you are creating this different type of visualization based on this tree map. So this tree map is created. Let us see what are the formatting option we have. I've just selected this one and go to this format section. Here we have this legend section. If you on this, then this technology furniture and this color wise legend will be displayed. Now you can change these colors also. 
also if you just on this one data label so data label information will be displayed and for the general section it will have the similar type of information whatever is available for our other visualization if i just select this tree map if i go to the format visual here also we have this legend section here the legend section will be displayed like this category and subcategory so it will give you the both information in the legend itself because of the different color so here also you need to change if you want to change the color you can do that and also you can switch on this data level too i hope you got some idea about this tree map like what is the purpose of this tree map when to use the tree map and how to use the tree map so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friend and if you need this working file please check the description section of this video and you will get the github link from where you can download the file thank you thanks for watching